actually cleaning. Hey, dusting. Wow, I knew you could do it. I'm brushing up on my work. <laughs> hey, 10 inch brush, eh? Mm. Which reminds me, this is part of a mod that we did on a tool. So we have this grinder up here in the corner, you'll see it in the picture in the corner. And this grinder is a 10 inch, one horsepower grinder that was purchased, you'll see it up in the corner, next picture, uh, 1984. <laughs> Big! But I'm going to tell you, you can't kill it. I bought it at Busy Bee Tools in 1984 and I think I paid at the time $170, which in 1984 yeah, was quite a lot of money. That's true. Right? You know, you could buy a Ford for a hundred and twenty hundred and seventy. <laughs> okay, okay. You like the father. <laughs> yes. But anyway, so I use this grinder, you know, but I used to have to put it on benches like this and move it around here and move it around there. And over the years then it got put over in the corner and and then of course since we started doing these uh, tractor accessories and stuff, there came points in time where you have to clean up a bit of pipe or something. When you buy this this pipe, it got like a, uh, I guess some kind of rust prohibitive on it, and that would have to be cleaned off. So a brush we found was the, was the absolute best. And of course, a being a one horsepower grinder, it was perfect for that application because you can't stall it out. It's just too powerful, you know. So uh, I said, you know what? A while back, I said I, I'll uh, make a nice pedestal to put it on. But then I said, well, I need a pedestal that I can move around. So that's basically what we did. And uh, took an old piece of six, six by six square tubing, which was as rusty as Nasty. you could possibly get. Anyway, I managed to squeeze it in the bead blaster and I managed to uh, sandblast it. But uh, you know, hindsight being 2020, it might have been easier for me just to get another piece, but I, I don't think I could get it at the no, time. No, I couldn't. I could only yeah. get the used piece. Yeah, I could only get this this used piece that we had. Well, we had it for about two years, I guess, before I even bothered to use it. No, that was a piece we bought. We bought. <laughs> yeah, and we bought it for new. Mm -hmm. That's how long ago we did this. This is about <laughs> two and a half, three months yeah, ago. That's true. Right now. Our Facebook friends will see would have seen this because sometimes on Facebook I'll post pictures that never ever see the light of day on YouTube. Why? I don't know. I guess lack of time or, or whatever. So uh, what I'll do is I'll go get the thing, I'll bring it out and I'll show you exactly what we did with it. And here it is. This is basically made out of scrap except for the wheels. And these, uh, it, it's very easy to move. As you can see, it has a compartment there. Now, why I bothered to put in a, compar a compartment there, I have no idea. But I put it there just in case I wanted to use it. I just used what handles that I had. You know, I was going to put a little window there and put a coffee cup in there, make it look like it was a coffee dispenser <laughs> for a joke. <laughs> so, and it's got the uh, well done. Uh, weldable hinges and uh, what I like about it is the wheels don't have brakes and why why don't they have brakes because they are retractable and if you go like that like that like that now it's solid on the ground. Oh, cool. So, yes, I know it don't have the safety shades. Disclaimer, never use a grinder without <laughs> safety shields. <laughs> now, meantime, these have probably been missing since the first week of 1984 when we well, bought it. You're not doing too bad. No, you know. Uh, and it, these brushes, they're very dangerous too as well. So if you're going to be using brushes like this, always use some kind of eye protection or the shield that's supposed to be there. <laughs> but it's a, it's a great grinder. 
it was a sin to discard it because it works absolutely perfect. And I even dressed it up and put a brand new stone. This tan stone that I took off was probably its original and it was right down to the almost to the point you where it's buy a nice industrial tool they really last I don't yes know. yeah now this in the meantime this is made in Taiwan so back in 1984 anything made in Taiwan was considered made in China but you know the Taiwanese now are building some great stuff and obviously this stood the test of time so at the end of the video folks I'll show you uh, pictures of the stages that I went through to get to this point uh, this is how the wheels work, like that, like that. And you can get those wheels on Amazon. Just pick up retractable casters, and uh, you're back in business again. So it's pretty neat, eh? And it gets it, this gets quite a lot of use. It does. You know, when it comes time to uh, clean and pipe, one second you can keep her going, but you get pipe like uh, like this, say for instance. Mm -hmm. Right? That's right. You know, and it's got that that coating on it and it needs to be cleaned off before you can even weld it or paint it or so you just leave it like that. You'll see I'll I'll put a little bit there in the video that I took with the iPhone. So that's uh that's our mod number two for the, the mod shop. That's right. So last week we showed them the welding table. Now it's this. Next week it'll be something else. Next week after that it'll be something else. So I just thought it would pique your interest. And anybody thinking about building a pedestal, the retractable wheels are a really nice addition to a pedestal. Uh, the only the only disadvantage to them is if you have well gravel driveway or something, it's very low to the ground. The clearance. Mm -hmm. So maybe in some cases, if you have a rough floor, or if you have, you know, an uneven floor, maybe a caster with brakes on is probably right. a better solution. But for here, this is absolutely perfect because once they're retracted, this is solid to the floor and you can, it don't move at all, you can go right to it. Anyway, folks, that's mod number two. Hope you enjoyed seeing it. And, uh, We'll see you in the next video. So you guys take care. Check out our website, Specialty Repairs Custom Mods. You'll see the link in the video's description. And if you're looking for Kubota accessories, we should be able to help you out. Take care, and we'll see you the next time around. God bless.
pipe that I've been talking about with regards to the, the grinder. I used to use a, a disc to try to clean it off, but it gouged the pipe a bit. It wasn't acceptable, so this is what we do. You can see the mess on there now. See the difference that's over half of that pipe done in that short period of time so all I have to do now is start the welding process and after that prime it and paint it